Have you ever wished you could have a personal assistant to remember something important while you work on other parts of your business? Well, guess what? Now you can. This feature is about to make your daily workflow so much smoother. Where AI meets ambition. Hi there, I'm Michelle Anderson, and I help small businesses integrate AI tools into their daily operations. And today I am super excited to share something that's going to revolutionize how you manage your content creation and weekly planning, and that is ChatGPT's new task feature. Now imagine having a team of assistants working on different tasks while you focus on what matters most. That's exactly what this feature does. While you're recording your latest YouTube video, ChatGPT can be planning next week's social posts. While you're in client meetings, it can be researching the latest AI trends. And while you're enjoying dinner with the family, it can be drafting your content calendar. It's like having multiple AI assistants, each dedicated to a specific task, working around the clock for your business. Now, let me show you how ChatGPT's new task feature transforms this chaos into organized productivity. Now, before we move on over to ChatGPT, I want to just mention that this feature is only available on ChatGPT+. It is not a part of the free plan, so if you're on the free plan, you will not be able to see this. And if you didn't catch my previous video talking about which LLMs are key in paying for, uh, Head on over to that video. All right, so we're going to head over to ChatGPT and we're going to choose this ChatGPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks. And we are going to put in here what we wanted to do. We want to think about what and when. So every when every morning at 9 a.m., please write, I like to use my pleases, please write a Facebook post. Uh, about uh, about AI in small businesses. Now, this is just very basic. I would actually go in and I'm going to show you what I've done with my LinkedIn. But once I go like that, it actually should go through and create the task. So you'll see something like this and you can actually click on it and this is where you can edit. And I'm going to show you how else you can access this but you can see here, I can go in here, I can change it. If I want to edit the, the schedule, do I want it to go uh, daily, weekly, monthly, once a year? Um, maybe I want it to remind me of somebody's birthday next year on a certain day. Um, and then we can put the time. Now, I have actually done this already for uh, LinkedIn. And I'm going to, so you're going to go up here if you want to find all your tasks and go here where it says tasks. And I'm just going to show you, I'm going to click on this little pencil and then that'll open up and then I can actually edit. And you can see in here, I actually gave it more information in the prompt about how I want it to write the, the LinkedIn post. So, um, so I have here, choose a topic related to AI for small business and write a LinkedIn post based on this prompt. And then I have a, a pretty significant prompt here in terms of how I wanted to write it. So I've put that all in there. And I've got a schedule for me every morning at 9 a.m. So I come into the office and I get started and it's already written a LinkedIn post for me. And let's open that so you can kind of see. Um, so when you have written a task, you don't want to just write it and leave it. You want to test it out a little bit first. So you can write something like, give me an example output. And I already did that here. And you can kind of see it gave me an example output and I can take a look at that. If it's not exactly how I want it to be, I can actually tweak it in here. Can you, uh, I could actually have it say, can you, I don't, I want to play too much with, with uh, this, this one. So let's go over to, cause I've, um, can you do an example? So can you give me an example post? please. Or I'm just going to put to be very clear, output. Um, output. And so it's going to give me an example of what it would actually write. So this is what it would actually write for me. And I haven't given it very much instruction. So it's just a very um, standard, ba basic, sort of typical AI uh, post. So I would actually go in, give it more details, give it a prompt. But 
if I come here in the morning after it's I'm checked, it's already written it, and I say, ah, oh, that's not quite what I want, I can actually go and open the window um, and interact with a little bit. So maybe I want it to say, you know, can you please expand it a little bit more? Or can you, you know, whatever, you give it some more instructions, have it tweak it, maybe, uh, can you mention this? Can you, can you take that bit out? Whatever you want to do, you can actually interact with it. But the great thing is that I have it writing a LinkedIn post for me. It's ready for me. I can get started. I can come in and I take a look at it. Um, what are some other ideas that you can have it do? You can have it write any kind of social media posts for you. One thing I'm going to be working on is having it write me a basic YouTube script every once a week. Um, you could have it create a task to motivate you every morning. Give me a motivational uh, quote every morning to get me started. Um, you can have it check the stock prices on a daily basis. Maybe there's this particular particular stock you're following, have it give you the um, specific results. Uh, have it check the weather for you. Um, another one I wanted was every Friday at 3 p.m. I'm going to have it summarize this week's most important news and developments um, and link the sources used. Um, I'm going to put from the web and link the sources used. So now um, it's creating a task. Now it's important to note that I believe that I saw, I haven't tested this all out myself, but I believe I saw that you're only allowed to have four tasks per hour. So you can't have it be doing 20 tasks in an hour, one hour's time. And you can only have 10 overall tasks. Now, again, I haven't tested that. So let me know if you have and you found anything different than that. Um, but see here, I have this summarize the AI news and give me an example output i want to see what it looks like so this is where it would go and then again i can interact with this i can say you know please put this um can you now take this and please put it in an email newsletter or something like that so i come in once a week and i find that this is already done it'll send me a notification um, and that's the other thing you want to set up how you want to be notified. So you want to come in here, go to your settings and go to notifications. And you can see here tasks. How do you want to be notified? Do you want to have push notifications? That means that if you're on your computer, it's going to um, notify you with a little message up on, on your computer or email or both. You can choose which one you want it to send you the notifications by and if you have the app on your phone, I believe that the push notifications will also be sent to your phone. So that might be useful because you may not be at your computer and you want the notifications sent by your phone. So uh, that is how you can get notified. So if you're using this feature, drop a comment below and let me know how it's working for you. And if you have another idea, I would love to know what are different ways that you're using this feature and are you finding it as helpful as I am? And if you want to take your ChatGPT skills even further, check out my video on hidden ChatGPT settings that most people don't know about. Now, these are absolute gems for small business owners. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. I'll see you next time.